Now, I want to go to an issue we've talked about before on this program, and this is the effort by media companies, commercial media companies like this one, to get some of the profits made by the digital giants, the Facebooks and Googles of this world, and to pay the content providers for the, uh, some of the advertising that they take on the back of all that. Now, an interesting ally for commercial media in these negotiations and this debate has actually been the ABC. In principle, they've supported the idea that commercial media ought to get some recompense for the uh, content that is shunted around the digital world. But an interesting development in the last couple of days, and that is not only does the ABC believe this in principle, but it believes it should get some of the cash, that the public broadcaster should get some of the cash from Facebook, Google and the like. What do you reckon about that? Let's check in now with the former 7.30 host on the ABC, former staff-appointed board member at the ABC, Quentin Dempster. Thanks for joining us again, Quentin. Hi, Chris. You and I often go toe-to-toe -to -toe on, uh, on, on ABC issues. We might have some common ground here, but it seems a bit unusual that the ABC, which, of course, shuns any advertising, doesn't want to sully itself by uh, taking advertising, would put its hand out for advertising revenue from the tech giants. Well, in context, the, uh, the government has ordered the ACCC to do this inquiry and do a mandatory... Uh, revenue sharing for all content creators in Australia. Google and Facebook have just decimated local media, as we know. Uh, so the ABC has made a submission. I haven't seen it. Uh, the SBS has uh, made a submission as well, saying if there is a level playing field, of course, all content creators, including the public broadcasters, should get a share of that, uh, of that revenue. Uh, like you, I don't want the ABC to take uh, uh, advertising. I don't want the ABC Act changed so it takes advertising. All you guys in the private sector have got to get as much revenue as you can from advertising and subscriber services. So we know how difficult it is in the media. But uh, the ACCC has been asked to do this task. The ABC has put up a proposition that if there is a level playing field, it should get a share of the revenue. You're not worried that that would be the thin edge of the wedge? As you said, uh, you're, you and many at the ABC have long argue, argued it should never be so much as sullied. No insinuation of advertising or sponsorship at the ABC. Would this be seen as the thin end of the wedge and could lead to, uh, to more it commercial could, practices? It could be on a, in a clickbait world if that was the way it was done. But at the moment, the ACCC and uh, uh, Nine, the Nine Entertainment and News seem to be uh, working out, working their way through what's called a collective uh, model. So uh, the, dig, uh, the big giants, the digital uh, titans, pay into a collective, a collection arrangement, and because of they, they de derive direct and indirect value from the content that is posted by Facebook and Google. You search Google. Uh, your articles, my articles, uh, video, what have you, they get a benefit of that because the eyeballs go to Google and Facebook directly. So it's the, total, the totality of the value of local content to these digital platforms that, uh, from which they earn a substantial revenue, up to, up to $6 billion. Uh, uh, not all from news media. Uh, there's a, a, a proportion of that uh, from news media. That has to be worked through when we see the mandatory code that the ACCC comes up with. It's a bit of a turnaround for the ABC because in the past there's been controversy about the fact that they've used taxpayers' money, some of the ABC funds, to pay Google for its rankings, to get prominent uh, positions on Google searches. Well, that's the game in the sense that uh, you want... Uh, if taxpayers have funded the content... Uh, and uh, they are trying to get... Uh, it's the responsibility of the ABC to try to get everybody, particularly in the digital revolution now, Chris, where more and more people are accessing all content on their digital devices. So to be relevant uh, and to get a value for the taxpayer uh, investment in the content that the ABC produces, a small amount of money paid to Google to enhance uh, eyeballs to that content is, is legitimate and justified. Uh, the thing is that the ABC has free content. You guys have, you're, you're here with Sky, you've got subscriber content. You want as many subscribers you can get. So does all the News Corp mastheads, the nine uh, mastheads, they've got a paywall to get through. The ABC content is, is free and I always want it to maintain that it's free. The taxpayers are paid for it. They should be able to access, access it on all devices.
Quentin, the beautiful thing here is if you are successful, if the ABC is successful along with the commercial media and it gets some of those profits from the digital giants, let's say the ABC gets $100 million a year, then that's $100 million a year less that taxpayers will have to put in. Won't that be the you case? We can, <laughs> we can take that off the government funding. You could say that, but I think uh, uh, the current Minister for Communications has uh, been quite hostile to the ABC, uh, Mr Fletcher. Uh, he may have seen, <laughs> We're expecting that if the ABC did get any of this revenue, that they would take it immediately back uh, into consolidated revenue. Beautiful. Uh, um, <laughs> you might say that, but uh, what we want, what I want particularly in this digital disruption that we've all media have suffered uh, in this country, local, all the newspapers that have closed down, all the, the power of the video streamers now coming in over uh, commercial television licensees. That's, that is very disruptive. If we want a local content industry, we need all the players to be viable and to survive, the private sector and the public sector. We've had a, a relatively good uh, broadcasting and media section here because we've had a vibrant private media sector and hopefully a viable ABC. Yep. Uh, it's the ABC's future that I'm worried about. Yeah, no, it's a very, very interesting point, and uh, it is all about dealing with digital disruption, and that's what's interesting about this latest development is you actually have the, the public broadcasters and the commercial media all arguing the same case to the government, well, really not, against not quite, the digital not, giants. Not, a similar not quite. argument. I, th I think... <laughs> I think uh, Channel 9 and uh, News Corporation would uh, resent the fact that the ABC got any money out of this. <laughs> OK. Well, we like to have a diversity of views on here, so we can follow that up. But I appreciate your time, Quentin. Thanks for joining us. All the best, Chris. Quentin Dempster there about the ABC case to get its hands on some of those uh, profits from the digital giants.